Finally here at 7, this month's full moon is no ordinary full moon. It's a super full blood moon. To sort out what that means, News Watch 16's John Hickey talk with an expert for this week's Skywatch 16. This month's full moon occurs on May 26th and is not just a full moon, it's also a super moon and it's also a blood moon. That's Tom Wildonner. He's the owner of the Dark Side Observatory in Weatherly. We had an online chat about what makes this month's full moon so unique. The moon is not in a perfectly circular orbit and it varies by up to 30,000 miles, give or take. Uh, as it's circling around the Earth. When the moon wobbles closer than normal to Earth, it's called a supermoon. It will appear a bit bigger and brighter than a normal full moon. Where you will detect the difference is if you compare two photographs of the moon side by side, the supermoon at its most will be 7% larger than a regular full moon. The blood part of this month's full moon is due to the lunar eclipse that'll be underway. The morning of the 26th, the moon is just gonna be entering that outer shadow of the Earth. We won't get to experience a total lunar eclipse in northeastern and central Pennsylvania. We will get a glimpse of a partial lunar eclipse. If you get up bright and early on the 26th around 5 a.m. and you can see the moon setting in the west, you, it may look a little bit redder than normal. If early mornings aren't your thing, evening sky watchers are in for a treat this week too. Look to the western sky about an hour after sunset on the 28th to see the conjunction of Mercury and Venus. What's special about this one is Mercury and Venus are going to be within half a degree of one another. And that's the closest they're going to be together like that until the year 2033. Use Venus as your guide. Mercury is going to be the brightest looking quote unquote star near Venus. Tom adds that if you hold your hand out in front of you towards the sky, the tip of your index finger is roughly one degree. That should help you spot Mercury. With this week's Skywatch 16, John Hickey, Newswatch 16.